Hello and welcome to our daily devotion from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Adam Moline. I'm standing here today up in the front of the altar area as we continue our look at the different things we see around the church sanctuary. And today I want to talk about something that you see all the time, but you probably don't think that much about. And that's the way the pastor stands and faces up here in the altar area. And there's something very unique about the way the pastor does this. Sometimes the pastor stands just like I am right now in front of the altar with the altar at his back facing the congregation, facing the pews out front. And sometimes the pastor faces this direction, facing the altar with the pews and the congregation behind him. You probably don't think very much about the way the pastor turns like that, but there's something very important about it that is needing to teach the Christian faith in this. And that's that when the pastor stands this way, facing the congregation, facing the pews, he is speaking in the place of God. Now, it doesn't mean that the pastor is God. Anyone could tell you that pastors are not. They are sinful people, just like everyone. But when the pastor is facing this way, oftentimes he is the instrument through which God is speaking to you. What I mean is, um, think of a trumpet. If you just have a trumpet sitting out on a table, what kind of music does it make? It doesn't make any. It needs to be picked up and blown into and the keys pressed down for it to make a noise, to make music. It's an instrumental way that the trumpet makes music. In the same way, the pastor is kind of like that trumpet. And sometimes God speaks through the pastor, through the words of the pastor, the mouth of the pastor, to speak to the congregation. So, for example, let's take the very beginning of the church service. After the congregation confesses their sin, the pastor faces the congregation, and he forgives the sins of the congregation in the stead and by the command of our Lord Jesus Christ. When the pastor does that, it's not the pastor's own word. It's the word of God coming through the pastor to the congregation. In the same way, at the very beginning of the service, when we make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, it is God putting his name on you through the pastor. The same time, then, we also have the times when the pastor faces this way, when you see the back of the pastor. At these times in the church service, the pastor is standing with the congregation and speaking to God or speaking on behalf of the congregation to God. This takes place then sometimes, for example, uh, at the beginning of the service when we all confess our sins together. When we say, I, a poor, miserable sinner, confess unto you all my sins and iniquities, the pastor faces the altar because he is sinful just like the entire congregation. At other times, when we offer up prayers of the church, the pastor faces the altar on behalf of the congregation speaking to God. The same time, then, when the pastor does the sermon, he faces the congregation because he's speaking on behalf of God. That is the idea here. If the pastor is facing you, he's proclaiming God's word. He's proclaiming the gospel. When the pastor faces the altar, he is, along with all the congregation, the sinner who is speaking to God and begging for God's mercy. Now, we do have an interesting thing, and the microphone cord's not quite long enough to show you that, but sometimes here at our church, because our altar is a freestanding altar away from the wall of the church, sometimes the pastor stands on the other side of the altar. He faces the congregation, but he's still facing the altar also. This happens in the prayer of the church. It also happens during the words of institution, where the pastor 
is speaking the gospel in those words of institution, take, eat, this is my body, take, drink, this is my blood. That's gospel. But he also is, as a member of the congregation, receiving those gifts as well. And for that reason, we stand on the other side of the altar, in a sense, combining those two things into one act. So, I know this isn't that big or that long, but when you see the pastor turning around and facing different directions, think about why he's doing that. There's no law that says we have to do it. There's no law that describes the way that happens, but the pastor does it to help teach the gospel, to help teach the reality that sinners uh, can be pastors or the pastors are sinners. Um, all those things are taught even in the simple things of the direction the pastor pastor faces in the congregation. Think about that next Sunday. God's blessings on your day.